reaction still coming in there. <laughs> and let's not forget, you're also part of the conversation. So hashtag 2019 elections, the verdict, hashtag the verdict, send us your reactions, even if it's a short video um, as to, you know, the results. And so what far. your reactions about those are. Uh, just to tell you that we're keeping an eye on uh, an expected event for out of, out of Abuja, specifically the Shehu Musa Yaradua uh, uh, Center in Abuja, where the People's Democratic Party, the main opposition party, uh, is expected to brief uh, the nation on a number of uh, issues. Let's just call it state of the nation, as it were. At this point, we're keeping an eye on that, and when it is time, we'll take you directly to that. But we're happy to announce that we're back on the line with Mr. Laulu Akonde, uh, Senior Special Assistant to the Vice President in Media. Mr. Akonde, I hope you can hear us. Yes, very clearly. All right, indeed. Uh, what is the plan now? What is the plan to upscale this? Because during the campaigns, we heard that indeed these programs will be upscaled. What is the plan specifically to upscale these programs? Thank you. So, so the, 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 there are three highlights that I'm just quickly going to, uh, uh, you know, point attention to. Number one uh, is in the area of jobs. Now, you you, you recall it that uh, under the social investment program, we have the uh, the Empower scheme, where uh, we've been able to engage uh, 500,000 otherwise unemployed uh, graduates from universities, colleges of education, and polytechnics. Now, in the Uh, unemployed graduates, you know, so that we scale up, you know, the 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 the, the job uh, program in that area. Now, also talking about jobs in the in our anchor borrower scheme, you know, that has already uh, given you know affordable loans to to about seven sixty thousand uh, farmers across the country. We're going to scale that up. We're going to do an additional one million of uh, uh, you know such farmers that we get access. Is that going to be over the next year or over the next four years? For example, the one million farmers, is it going to be over the next year or over the next four years? Well, you know, we, 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 we hope to pick up, up, up space. You know, I, I would imagine that we do it in quick time. You know, I don't want to set uh, so much of a time and say we do it in, in uh, one year or two years, you know, just so uh, we don't uh, encumber ourselves. But certainly, you know, as, as soon as possible, for instance, uh, in the uh, uh, trader money that we started also, we, we, we plan to do uh, two million of such uh, petty traders, you know, and now under the next level, we are scaling it up to 10 million. Hopefully it's something that we can do in a couple of years, you know, uh, and also in the area of the uh, school feeding program, we are currently, we are feeding about uh, over 9.3 million uh, primary school puppies across the country. We are going to scale that up from 9.3 million, we are going to scale it up to 15 million. You know, uh, which we cover the entire 36 states in the country. Now, uh, already, even in that school feeding program, we have about 90,000 new jobs for groups. Now, that is going to go on to 300,000 extra jobs for 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 groups and for vendors and for farmers. Now, so so jobs is one big item in the next level uh, program. Now, Yes. The World Bank predicted sluggish economic growth, 2.2%, with the 20% that are unemployed. And there's also the country facing near extreme poverty. Half Nigeria. Yeah, so, so that, 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 that's the whole point. Now, the, 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 the social investment program, if you look at it very closely, uh, is designed, you know, to also take people out of poverty. And the, and the programs that we are, are, are implementing, are, you know, are, are designed essentially to do that. That is why, for instance, we took the idea of the trader money and market money, giving loans, affordable loans, microcredit loans to traders, to market women. That's why we take it very seriously. And, 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 and in the next day, we're taking it even uh, a, 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 a notch up. For instance, we're going to be having the People's Bank, we're going to have the People's Money Bank, we're going to be having also an entrepreneurial bank, you know, which is going to make loans affordable to young people, make loans affordable to market women at very, very affordable rates. You know, the whole idea uh, is to bring more and more people out of poverty. And of course, even our conditional cash uh, transfer program is also going to uh, uh, it's, it's going to be enlarged. We've been able to do about 400,000 uh, of such so far, you know, giving people 5,000 naira a month, people that are considered to be a 
extremely poor among us. We're going to see, we are, our plan was to do a million. And so on that next level, we intend to do even much more than that. You know, so all of these programs are designed specifically. And this is what uh, countries like India have done. This is the kind of program that they have implemented on a sustained uh, basis constantly over the years. You know, uh, and, and this is what we're going to do going forward uh, in the next four years. But there's also a, an important aspect of the next level that we must talk about very quickly, and that is infrastructure. So we have jobs, we have infrastructure, and we have microcredits for, uh, for, for, for traders and market men. So let me talk quickly about, about infrastructure. One big area is in the area of power. One of the things that we're doing regarding power is that we're not just going to try uh, improve on generation from the national grid. We are also concentrating, and we have started already, and we're going to be, we're going to be intensifying this in the area of on grid power. You, you, you must remember that we have taken this to uh, Ariara market in Aba, Sura market in Lagos, uh, Sabon Daily market in, 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 in Kano, and the whole idea is to identify big markets in the country and see how we can supply alternative sources of power to those places out of the uh, I mean, of grid power. So, so we are doing that in a lot of markets in the country and also in in, uh, in the universities. So, for instance, we we we've identified nine universities where we are going to be bringing this kind of off grid power, maybe solar uh, solar power or, or, or gas fire, fire, you know, options that are outside of the grid. So, while we are improving on the grid, we are also focusing you know intensely on off grid power uh, uh, solutions. So, so that is an important part of the infrastructure. The, the, the other part of the infrastructure is, is rail. And okay. road. So, so All right. Mr. Okay. Uh, Ron, uh thank you so much for the moment you've shared with us. But well, we'll definitely be bringing you back on our programs once in a while to give us updates on what the president or what the government is planning to do as per taking the nation to a higher level, even as you promised in your campaigns. Thank you once again, Mr. Laula Conde, Senior Special Assistant to the Vice thank President. You. Thank you. Well, he's, he, he would appear to have addressed quite a number, at least touched on quite a number yeah. of the issues. Uh, talked about power, mm -hmm. talked a little bit about infrastructure, talked about the social investment program and what, well, the plans are, even though, as he pointed out, he didn't want to, uh, to tie themselves mm -hmm. uh, to any particular timelines because, of course, this will probably be uh, in the making over. Now, again, it, it, go, it goes back uh, to... Uh, the discussion about how to quickly upscale these things. He talks about off-grid power, Mr. Shomi. He yes. talks about mm -hmm. off-grid power to specific places, markets, universities, other such places, directly. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you, you, you think this falls in line with your own thinking about what needs to be done? I, I don't think so. I think it still falls in line with the, the existing framework for power for energy in Nigeria. We are still not ambitious enough to deconstruct the laws, you know, restricting production and distribution of energy. Currently, we have a national target of 10,000. There is no way you will get any foreign direct investor, you know, the major uh, actors in that industry, like Siemens, you know, to come in because they will not be interested in producing anything less than 20,000. Now, if a country of 200 million, we are still thinking about 10,000 megawatts, it's a major problem. I think this government can't even help the country better by changing that target. We need to change the target. We need to think big, you know, dream big, and work towards attaining it. With all what uh, Laulu said, they are all welcome uh, alternative sources of energy, you know, to help. Uh, the universities to help the market women and all that. They are welcome. But we have to remember the rural areas. That's where the majority of our people live. How do we get energy to those areas without producing enough? Because what we're doing currently, successive government, is not about just about Buhari's government. It's to divert even power from rural areas to power, you know, the industrial cities and major towns. That's what we've been doing. And then you will create impression of a semblance as if uh, power is stable for some time, and then we have the problem again. But it's simply because we are not producing enough power. This coast can only produce or generate, and this coast can only distribute what they have. 
They don't have that power. And the unit cost of producing power in Nigeria currently is too high because we are producing small scale. We need to produce large scale. And that is what government should be thinking about. Thinking about utilizing gas. The, if I still remember clearly, within the last 10 years, we came up with the idea of um, generating power from atom atomic energy, you know, using nuclear power, power plant. What progress have we made with that? We commissioned two universities, if I remember correctly, Obafemi Awolowo University and Amodo Bele University. What progress have we made with that, you know, in terms of general? Because atomic nuclear energy, you know, nuclear reactor alone can even give you 5,000, 10,000, you know, me uh, megawatts, you know, a, a, a day. So what are we doing about all these things? Those are the major issues. Because if you keep thinking about small scale, intervention like let's solve the problem of power for school using a windmill or a solar panel let's solve the problem of market how would power get to majority of nigerians how would our power program meet the needs of industries i think these are the major issues let's bring in mr Adopolo. do you think yeah. we're moving too fast i mean you mentioned several other programs to boost job creation in the coming years i, I don't think so um if I, what, what, what came to my mind as he was speaking was the need to begin to... You, you get the impression that the institutions of state are failing. And so in an attempt to deliver, government seems to be circumventing. All right? So for me, I would say that as laudable as these initiatives are, they should also begin to think of ways to institutionalize them so that they don't go away with this government. Because whether you like it or not, in four years' time, somebody else is going to be the president. All right? So as you, you know, the Anchor Boras program, the Entrepreneurial Bank, the People's Bank, the Off-Grid Power, and I, I tie to what you're mm. saying, it's again, you see a desperation to deliver because the, the, the proper channels seem not to be working. All right, so they're like, rather than continue to have these ongoing conversations with discos that don't get us anywhere, can we do something? I, I think that some, some um, 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 imagination to say, what would it take us to do 100 megawatts, for example? All right? Somebody needs to look into the power sector with a, a, you know, a, a different frame and see how we can challenge you know, the, the, uh, the current thinking. The current thinking. That, that needs to be done. Because at the rate at which they are going, you're going to end. It's like what I hear is almost as if government wants to buy you know, like generators. You know what I mean? Or windmills, or you know, for for this university, and I can understand their 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 desperation to do something, but we must institutionalize things. Otherwise, all of this will just go away with this government. Mm -hmm. Sometimes some people feel that that is faster. That if we're thinking of institutionalizing them, it will take a longer time. But how many people are willing to wait to see? So it's got to be because if you do not institutionalize them, they would not last the mile. So yes, go ahead and do what you have. That's you know. Standby power means your main power source is not working, all right? But when your standby power becomes your main power source, you have a problem. Mm -hmm. So I agree. Let them continue with all these things. But side by side this, the channels that ought to deliver these goods, all right, must be... And that's really where nation building comes into play. Otherwise, what you find is when these two people leave the government, and so everything they are trying to do goes with them. And that has been the challenge we've always had. Mm. You know, once upon a time, a certain person was in a certain agency, and they were doing well, whether it was NAFDAQ, whether it was EFCC. And when the big man leaves, you know, the, the big man uh, mentality will not get us to where we are going. So somebody has to start building institutions. They won't finish it, but let them start it. 